Hi, I'm Andrew Stevenson, and in today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. I needed to print out a proof of my planner in 6x9. Normally, I do these in 8.5x11, but I thought I'd try a, a smaller one. So, this is it. I thought I'd print it out, and while I was at it, I thought I'd print out a few more books. Sneak, uh, sneak peek there. A few more books. Some are new, some are old. I just thought they'd be interesting to, to look at. So I'll show you the planner, just to check the print quality. So this is a matte, no it's not, this is a glossy finish. Um, you can see a few fingerprints there, but I do like the look of these compared to um, the matte books, which I'll show you later on. I think in person I prefer these. So you've seen these planners before, it's basically just a scaled down version. So there's, I'll start at the beginning. So there's pages for contacts, there's at a glance. So this is all came from a large document and I just resized it. I want to make sure it looked okay, which it does, thankfully. And there's month, you get a at a glance and a to-do uh, list. And it's just repeated throughout the book. You'll see it's all correctly dated, I hope. So that's it, I want to try 6x9 and it works. Like I say, I ordered a proof and it's taken about a week for it to um, to get here, which is annoying. It was printed in the UK. So yeah, it works. I shall release all of my 85 by 11 planners in 6x9. I'll show you some other books now. Um, excuse me, dirty hands, I have just finished work. So next is the Gratitude Planner. So this is, I did two versions. This is black and white, and this one is colour, obviously. Well, I say obviously, you can't tell till I open the book. Um, but yeah, this is black and white. And this is standard colour. So a bit cheaper than premium, but that looks okay to me. There's a better look there. That looks fine. Just have a look at um, you know, what's on the page. And again, this is just two pages simply repeated throughout. The black and white one obviously is cheaper for people to buy or to, for me to print, but I also thought I could market it as kind of like a colouring in sort of thing. But the, you know, there's not really a lot of uh, not a lot of pictures to colour in. Obviously, you can colour these bits in. That was the idea. Um, and colour them in to to show the moods. Uh, this is an updated version of another planner I did. I've showed you this one before. This is one of the first plans I did. There's a bit of a difference. Thankfully, you know, this still isn't perfect, like. The, the, the uh, lining up of the font isn't perfect, but it's an improvement. But you can see that the interior is just the same. More or less. I, I couldn't find the exact monsters, but... Uh, let's see if I can get a better shot of that. So very, very similar. But the actual... Um, the, the content of the questions are the same. I made the first book in Page Plus. That was the precursor to the Affinity suite of publishing uh, softwares. And this one was made in Affinity, probably Publisher One, I think. Again, both, that's glossy, that's matte. And I, and I do prefer the glossy. Next, oh, he's a, he's a boring one of fire. I thought I'd make a Sudoku book. So this is um I don't even know where I got the where I got the software to do the Sudoku's from, but it's very you know everywhere is doing these. Again, I haven't got the line up properly. Is that me or is it the printing? Probably me. Bang! Straight into the, the puzzles. No um introduction or anything. And then there's the puzzle page. It's just your bog standard. You know, Sudoku's. 500 Sudoku's. 
plus. Bog standard again, that's a matte cover that. It doesn't feel bad, but I just don't. I yeah, know that's a lie. It still it doesn't feel as good as the glossy one. This is one of my newer books. Apart from the planners, I haven't really made any newer ones. This is the one that I made for Valentine's Day. So it's glossy. Again, I, sh I did do a video um, on how to make this. So just go through the channel and find them, or I will link in the bottom. So the idea is, you know, you buy this for your partner and you fill it in. You can be as rude or as not rude as you want. So you make my blank feel blank. And there's a little stickman illustration there. The These were all black and white and I've just recolored them. There's no way I'd rather be than blank in your blank. Can you see these are like, these are like sticky notes? So it's meant to be notes that you would leave for your loved one. You are the blank of my blank. So you can make them sweet or absolutely filthy. Again, glossy. I do like the look of that. It's only thin. 20-odd or 40 odd pages. I forget which. Um, simple to make. Looks good. Sold about four. Keywords, keywords, keywords. And this is another new book. And I like, I do like this one. Again, that's not centered. Th this was all done in Affinity Designer, and that should be centered because I used the template. Um, that doesn't look too bad. Glossy cover. Logo, which I made in Mid Journey. See, this is just normal text, blah, blah, blah. And then, a oh, nice little introduction there. Before task, so this is a classic five minute journal. Um, a daily thing a little you know a little encouragement on the on the bottom right but these are all just repeated um interesting thing i, I made this in mid journey i got all of these from chachi pt i just said give us some you know uh, inspirational sort of encouraging quotes now there isn't something slightly different than this in the middle there's like a, a um there we go, like a halfway point sort of uh, check list. Being, um, you know, consider how well you've done. I should have put one on the back, but I've forgotten. So that was a mistake. I have remedied that, but uh, um, that's still getting uh, sorted. That's another glossy cover. So that's it really for today's video. I just want to show you, well, first of all, I want to show uh, this draft just to see what it was like. And it's fine. And I thought I'd order some more books just to you know, make a video and show you the, the print quality. Now, I do have a little plug because I have just started an Etsy shop selling interiors. So you know, all of these interiors that you see here, maybe it's not that one, but I'll, uh, certainly this and these, and the planners i'm putting the interiors onto etsy in a pdf format in the right size so six by nine it's the exact same file i used to make this and that's on etsy now if you don't want to you know go through the rigmarole of making them yourself just put a different cover on uh, and you, you know you'll hopefully make some sales i also have other printables on there i'm just i'm just experimenting really see if i can earn uh, a few extra pounds that's interesting they're both six by nine but there's quite a size difference between them odd and that weird maybe that's not six by nine i could be lying so yeah that is it i will uh, leave a link to videos in the description and you know, like how i made these planners how i made the books and also leave a link to the etsy shop there's a big sale on at the minute with it being my first week i think it's 40 percent off but i've priced them very cheap so if you would click on that and have a look i'd be much appreciated it even looking does help with the etsy algorithm apparently buying helps even more
and also leaving uh, good reviews. So that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.